Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're fishing at Battery Point in Port Z. It's uh, Wednesday, the sorry Tuesday, the fifth of uh, March. It's about half past nine in the morning. We've got a half past one high tide today, uh, and it's a, quite a small tide here in the Bristol Channel. It's only about nine and a half meters. Uh, we had about a four and a half meter low, so we've got about five meters of tidal change. And um, it's the first time I've fished Battery Point since October 2020. So a uh, long overdue uh, visit to this quite famous uh, North Bristol Channel mark on the, uh, on the English side of the, uh, of the channel. I'll put a picture in the, uh, in the video of the exact location. Um, you can see the Battery Point little light uh, I call it a lighthouse, but it's just a flashing beacon there. And I'm fishing um, about 100 yards up the rocks uh, towards uh, towards Portbury. Ah, we've got South Wales over there. We've got the new Seven Bridge. And then we swing around, we've got Avonmouth. And then we've got Portbury Box. And then down the coast uh, there, round towards uh, Porter's Head Marina. Couple of other people fishing there, but nobody's actually fishing uh, on the point uh, on the point itself. As I was doing my intro there and panning around to the two chaps, one of them just brought in a strap conger, so that's uh, that's good to see. Um, baits today: I've got frozen squid, um, I've got uh, fresh ragworm, uh, frozen blacks, and some various odd frozen bits and pieces from the freezer. I popped into the new uh, setup of Real Fun Fishing in uh, Port's Head. They've moved location um, recently. Much bigger facility, looks very nice. So uh, as always, a nice bait in there and a nice chat with the lads uh, behind the counter. And basically expectations, well, I haven't been fishing for three odd weeks since I did my last video at Slapton. I just really want to get out and, uh, and wet a line and see what happens chap in the shop said he fished here yesterday low to high so six and a half hours or whatever he had two bites no fish so uh, anyway seen something caught already so that's a good sign fingers crossed uh, might be able to pull out a conga or two myself if you wanted uh, advice on the mark obviously pop into real fun fishing in Port Z. they'll be able to point you in the right direction as to what tactics to use um, also on the Veals Mail Order website. There's a good uh, angling guide there to Bristol Channel marks. I'll put a, a link in the description. Um, I'll show you my rigs. Rigs I'm just using standard pulley panels with a rotten bottom. Not using uh, using a six ounce lead. Not using a grip lead at the moment because the tidal pull here is not that strong at the moment. Uh, one thing I would say is that if you do fish here choose a smallish tide, uh, big tides will pull very hard, particularly on the point. Uh, and also, obviously, you're uh, on sort of rock ledges. Uh, I'm probably about uh, 15 feet above the water here. Uh, but there's not a lot of bank uh, to, to go up when the, on, a, on a big tide, for example. So you'd never fish here on a big tide, two reasons. No room, unless you're right on the point um, or and also the fact that there's very strong uh, tidal pull here. Um, plenty of snags. Um, I lost quite a bit of tackle when I was last here on a rotten bottom. So, uh, and I've already had a uh, lost a, a weight on a, at, at, at my sort of range, 60, 70 yards on a snag. So probably a lot of line snags here. Um, I guess in the, 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 the ground is, is <coughs> relatively clean but with the amount of lost tackle on it, it's probably uh, probably pretty uh, very it is very snaggy, uh, and the water's deep. I mean that's one thing here. It's a it's a good deep water mark for the uh, for the Bristol Channel. So I'm using the uh, a Cox and Roll rotten bottom setup. Uh, got a a light a line lighter than my main line. That's attaching a plain six ounce lead to the uh, cox and roll rotten bottom. You obviously secure the line to the rotten bottom loop on the on the, the metal device as such at the bottom there. 
and then you slide the uh, lead over the <coughs> the open end and then you have a little ball there that when it hits the water releases the, the lead. I've got a breakaway imp that's a bit tangled. Oh, I've got a breakaway imp to a, a swivel. I'll un untangle that in a minute. I've got 80 pound main line, uh, trace body. And then the standard set of bead, pulley bead, bead, uh, C to swivel. And my trace, which is about uh, four foot today. And I'm fishing uh, either 2.0 or 3.0 Verivas hooks, uh, two J's mounted uh, pulley panel fashion. And a typical bait I'll, uh, I'll show you in a minute. So here's a typical bait. Two relatively small squid with uh, one and a half frozen blacks whipped on uh, with two uh, 3.0 Rebus um, hooks. So that's the typical baits. Also um, alternating frozen blacks with maybe you know ragworm. Um, just whipping that on to a squid with a sort of like a sausage type bait. Um, not trying a scratching rig yet. We'll see how we uh, see how we go. There's plenty of activity in and out of uh, Portbury docks at the moment. I think I filmed this, was it this one? I'm not sure, on a time lapse earlier on, coming up. Um, can't see, can't see the name. No, I think it's a different boat, that one. <coughs> Fishing wise, very quiet. I lost, uh, just lost a full set of gear on a snag, uh, far out. So, uh, yep, yeah, it's, a, it's a tackle hungry mark. Uh, one thing I would say when you're, you're fishing here, you need to be uh, good on your feet. Uh, it's pretty slippery. So I've got studded boots on here, but still a little bit gingerly on the, on the rocks. So just be careful when you come down. Uh, sensible footwear and uh, pick, a, pick a spot where you don't have to clamber around too much really. Uh, pretty nasty rocks, but a lovely day. Um, it's about six, seven degrees. Um, we've had a lot of rain and horrible stuff recently. A bit of snow last Saturday, uh, but it's a nice bright day. Just uh, need the fishing to uh, to uh, turn on a little bit.
slow, about an hour and a half before high water. Uh, still very quiet for me. A couple more congas have been caught further down. So uh, there's fish here. Just uh, can't catch a cold at the moment. One thing about this mark is um, it faces absolute north, I think. So uh, you don't get a lot of the sun. Still having the, the sun is still struggling to poke its head up above the above the bank there. So uh, it's a bit chilly down here this morning, but absolutely flat calm. One thing uh, I'm not sure if people saw, but um, there was a 30 pound cod caught off the shore in the Bristol Channel down at um, a mark known as the Admiralty. I've done a couple of videos down there, the MOD mark on the sand point, at the base of sand point. 30 pound, uh, I think eight ounces. If you look at the Facebook page for Real Fun Fishing, Port Z, you'll see the fish being weighed. Absolute monster of a cod. Probably a once in a lifetime fish off the shore here. But it proves that they're still around. That's why the beauty of it, we, uh, why we sort of torment ourselves in the hope of a, of a cod. He also had a seven or eight pounder as well, the same session, so he had a, an absolute uh, great day. So well done, whoever that chap was, well done. And great to see uh, such a fine specimen. Uh, well, was swimming, no longer swimming. I don't think it made its way back into the water, obviously, because it was, uh, he tried to put it back, but uh, I think it uh, didn't survive. So anyway, good to see. There's hope for all of us. Fingers crossed. Anyway, let's keep going. Oh, that's a big boat. The Auto Advance. LNG battery hyd hybrid powered. Not sure what uh, sort of boat that is. Another big uh, cargo ship just went out past it. Bit of a swell rolling in now, so I've walked off the bank a little bit just so we don't get uh, any wave action. Got a tug there pushing them up. Another tug escorting them in. Far more exciting than the fishing at the moment. Completely dead for me. The fish here, the lads down there have obviously had a few congas. Another couple of people fishing on the point, I can't, I can't see them. Um, as such, I can see the rods, but I, I can't see the people. So I can't tell if they're catching anything. Uh, lost a couple of traces as well. So uh, it's odd you cast pretty much the same spot. Sometimes you snag, sometimes you're not. So we're just putting it a little bit shorter now. But uh, yeah, almost almost high water now. So I'll probably give it another hour, hour and a bit. And then uh, if I don't catch anything, I'll probably knock it on the head. <laughs> well, high tide's been and gone. And uh, no fish to, to show for best part of five hours fishing. I think some days you know it's not going to work for you and I think today's one of those days. So I got last cast in the water. Just want to thank everyone for watching. Um, thank you for the comments that you post on the on the channel and if you can subscribe that's great. Thanks very much for that as well. Really appreciate that. Um, not sure where I'm going to be next week. Hopefully try somewhere a little bit different. Um, we'll see. Can't guarantee any fish but hey we uh, we come out for the crack and uh, we learn something every time I suppose and maybe uh, <coughs> we'll have better luck next time anyway I'm waffling on if you're out fishing this week tight lines good luck hopefully you uh, you can catch something and uh, we'll see you all again soon take care now bye now bye <laughs>